Talks underway, the Strongsville teachers strike in News Channel 5's Deborah Lee live in Independence where the union and board are meeting with the federal mediator. And Deb, bring us up to speed there. Well, negotiators have been behind closed doors here for more than four hours now trying to settle this teacher strike that's eight weeks old now. And in contrast to what's going on here, there's actually another school district right here in Cuyahoga County that reached a contract deal with its teachers in record time. Bay Village teachers will be in their classrooms for at least the next three years. They reached a new contract agreement with their school district in less than a week, so quickly that many in town didn't even know they were talking. There was no need for drawn out negotiations, but again, it's because there was not a big barrier there. There was not, there was not a big issue that strained relationships. Superintendent Clinton Keener says Bay Village schools are in pretty good shape financially. Voters passed a levy a few years ago that helped offset state cuts. But it's a district that still couldn't afford huge increases for teachers. In fact, the new contract includes health insurance concessions. If we did dole out more money in a new teacher's contract, um, we, we would be back to the voters sooner than later for our next operating levy. It's nice that they can do it, get it over with, and make decisions and not have to have it go on for weeks and weeks. But contract talks haven't always gone so smoothly here. Like Strongsville teachers, Bay Village teachers went on strike in 1992. The substitute teachers they didn't want anybody to know who they were. They didn't want to give out their real names. And uh, I think it lasted quite a while. Eventually, you recover because you focus on the children and their needs and you focus on the community. And, and then you, get, you, you return back to your core mission. Now we're going to be monitoring the Strongsville talks here in Independence all evening and we'll bring you any new developments live in Independence. Deborah Lee, News Channel 5.